name is Warren Saunders. I was born and raised in Dorchester County, Maryland. I graduated from North Dorchester High School in 1960. I was born and raised on a farm. Of course, hunting was part of my part of my life from the time I was a kid because my father and my grandfather did. And as time went on, I got more interested into it. I started waterfowl hunting. And by the time I was 19 or 20, I was uh, starting to make some what I thought was nice decoys. And they really wasn't too nice at all, but I thought they were. They were good enough to shoot over. So they were a little kind of on the primitive side rather than being traditional. But they worked and that was all was necessary. So as time went on and I wanted to better myself, I went to a local carver here in the county who was well known, Ron Rue, who had studied under the Ward brothers. And I took a few classes from him. And after I decided that I wanted to be the best I could be, I went on a search. And I took some courses from people like Donald Booth, Glenn McMurdo, Ernie Mulemack, Dale Herbert. And by that time, being kind of handy with woodworking tools and my own ideas, I was off and running. And I taught a couple pilot programs, one for the Ward Museum, and then I taught one in the school where I graduated from, a group of 18 kids. And then I started teaching classes in the Art Center in Cambridge. I've taught in Hickory, North Carolina. I've done a couple seminars in Warsaw, Virginia. I've demoed at the Rayburn Building in Washington, D.C. I got a tour to capital out of that, which was very nice. It was at night time when there wasn't anything going on, nothing to distract you. And then I've traveled to a lot of shows all up and down the East Coast, from Brick, New Jersey to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I've done shows from Ligonier, Pennsylvania, Haverty Grace, Prairieville, Northeast, Chestertown, uh, the Outdoor Show in Cambridge, uh, Virginia Beach, Warsaw, Virginia, Whitestone, Virginia, Harker's Island, North Carolina, Little Warston, North Carolina. So I've been I've been around. I've met a lot of other carvers. I've met a Met a lot of nice artists, and that's where the journey has taken me to. And in the process of competing, I've won approximately 17 best of shows, a lot of single ribbons, first, second, or third place. It don't really mean too much after you win a best of show, because the, the first, second, or third best of show is what everybody wants. So I've managed to win 17 of those. And now then, I'm doing more judging. I don't compete as much. I've cut down on the number of shows I do. The Waterfowl Festival in Easton. I do the Whitestone, Virginia Waterfowl Festival. Potomac Wildlife Show for Patuxent. So now I met a nice young man that was in his young 30s that was kind of like me when I was first married. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I had three kids. And, wanted a decoy and couldn't quite afford to go out and buy one, so Roger Webster, I, I met him I met him in a sporting goods store. He was working there at the time and he wanted to learn, and, learn to carve. So I told him if he would apply himself that I would endeavor to teach him. So the first piece that brought me that he thought was a masterpiece, I told him if he need to throw it in the wood stove. So anyway, you know, that didn't set too good with him, but he said, hey, he said, I think it's great. I said, yeah, I remember the first one I'd done that I thought was great also. So that's just about where we're at, and I hope that, that he can get to be accomplished to be a good carver. And, I guess I can thank my grandfather, maybe I inherited some of his 
abilities to work with wood and be creative as he was.